this elephant you can see is absolutely focused on that rhino his trunks outstretched he's, he's crumpled up his ears he's not trying to chase this rhino off or intimidate it he's trying to catch it and indeed once he caught that animal he killed it once the elephant has caught the rhino he gores it from above straight into the shoulder blade just uh, pushing his tusks deep into the shoulders and, and breaking the back and the pelvis. The elephant then uses the weight of its head to crush the rhino while driving its tusks through the body. The cause of death is clear and Van Dyke has a definite indication that the attack is intentional. But a bigger question remains. Is this a single rogue animal that has somehow managed to escape detection? Or is it something deeper, affecting more than just one individual elephant? In Amboseli National Park in Kenya, elephant project manager Soila Sayalel is trying to narrow down the suspects. She has recorded 185 more cattle deaths since 1997 and collected dozens of eyewitness statements. Anywhere else, picking the culprit out of a lineup of more than 1,400 elephants would be difficult. But Amboseli's elephants are among the most studied in the world. Since 1972, the Amboseli Trust for Elephants has monitored the population's behavior, assembling identification records for each and every one of them. We have 1,450 elephants, and all the elephants are known individually. Sayalel attempts to match the photo IDs with the descriptions from eyewitnesses. In Pellensburg, Gus Van Dyke is collating forensic photographs from the new rhino deaths. He identifies something they all have in common. At every crime scene, there is just one set of elephant prints. But the prints differ from kill to kill. Only males travel alone, but the footprints aren't big enough to belong to an adult. These are teenagers old enough to have left the herd, but not yet fully grown. The implications are enormous. Van Dyke isn't looking for one killer. There are lots of them. In Kenya, the pattern is a very different one. All the attacks here involve families of elephants. Sayalel suspects appear to be mature females. 